Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pookie, and today I'll be working on something a little bit new. As I promised, with the money that I've gotten through Patreon, and with a little bit of my own money, I was able to purchase a webcam so I could start working on traditional art as well as digital art. And today was my first experiment with watercolors. So I decided to go a fairly easy route and decided to use one of my my original characters. His name is Ruben. He's a lynx hybrid of sorts. Think alien. Anyway, uh, I used watercolor paper for this, as well as uh, tube watercolors that I got for Christmas as well. They're not a particular brand, but they are in a variety of colors. There's about six. But they were perfect for this, because Ruben is mostly uh, earth colors. And there were at least four earth colors in the pack. So it worked very well. Now... As you can see with this first try, things were going okay. I did not have the technique down, so things were a bit messy, very smudgy, but in a few minutes, or moments, you'll see that I got a second chance. How I got the second chance is fairly saddening. See, I got most of the markings down, but I hadn't gotten the hair done. I had realized that I had not mixed a color for the hair, and since the hair was fairly close to the color that I was using for the markings, I decided to change it. And at this point, my water cup tipped over on top of the entire thing. So I had to start again. At this point, I decided to try something different. Instead of lining it first, and then doing the watercolor, I decided to just do the pencil outlines first, do the watercolor, and then go at it at a different angle since the first time I tried did not work out very well because I realized I worked too small. So I decided to break out pe colored pencils as well to help me get in the little details. And it worked out fairly well. As you can see, I'm much more controlled this time. I took my time and made sure that I got all the shapes right instead of just coloring in blocks where they should be. I also made sure to try and add a bit of texture for, for his fur, considering that his fur tends to overlap. Like there are portions on his cheeks, on his shoulders, and on his head that overlap each other. So for there to be texture, it helps give it a bit of dimension. Okay. These are the color pencils that I use. I've had them for at least six years. But they are Faber-Castell. One is watercolor pencils and the other are polychromos. As you can see, I went over it with the watercolor pencils first to just deepen the color and make them more a bit, a bit more vibrant. And then I use the regular color pencils to give it a bit more texture. Add in a little tiny bit of shading. And help redefine how much the shapes are apart from each other. Like the edges of limbs or uh, just chunks of hair. Now with the, the markings that I struggled with earlier, they were much more easy to bring out with the color pencils. And I could even color match it better by mixing Venetian red and burnt umber worked very well and then with again Faber-Castell 
I have fine liners from high school, so they're at least seven years old. But they worked out very well as well. And then a little bit of white acrylic paint to do highlights and clean up things, and it was done. I hope you all enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.